Today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, reveal the books I bought this week, and if I screw up, a blooper reel. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the Comic Hero Show. Welcome to this week's edition of the Comic Hero Show. I'm your host, Victor Nunley, and I am the Comic Hero. Coming to you from Clint's Comics right here in Monroe, Louisiana. And as y'all can see, I'm wearing a Texas Ranger themed Comic Hero tee, and to go along with it, this Texas Ranger hat. Now you're probably wondering, Vic, why in the world are you wearing Texas Ranger stuff? Baseball season is until the end of March. Well, this is true. However, last week, <laughs> the uh, uh, the announcement of the three inductees for the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame were announced, and they were Jeff Bagwell, Tim Raines, and Pudge Rodriguez. And I was very thrilled when Pudge Rodriguez ended up being announced as an inductee. Now you're probably wondering, okay, now, okay, uh, what else? Well, I'll tell you what else. He played 21 seasons in Major League Baseball, but 13 of those 21 seasons were spent with a team that I that I, I grew up cheering for and still do to this day, the Texas Rangers. So that's why I'm wearing this. So um, Pudge, if you're watching this, or if, if it's any other family members, if it's part of the um, Texas Ranger organization, congratulations to Pudge. All right, let's give away a free t-shirt. Okay, last week's episode, I asked, what is Supergirl's Kryptonian birth name? Well, the answer is Kara zor -El. And six people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, they enter their names in a drawing, which takes place right now for a free comic hero team. So, the winner of the free team for this week's episode is... Kelly Mayo from Bossier City, Louisiana. So congratulations, Kelly. You win yourself a free comic hero team. All right, here's the question for next week's episode. Who is Tony Stark's personal assistant slash love interest? Now, that question is actually present tense in the cinematic Marvel Universe and past tense in the comics. But either way, anyone who answers correctly will be entered a drawing for a free tea in next week's episode. Now, D'Angelo Ballou from Warren, Ohio, has requested a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight unlike any other. No, this isn't a, um, a completely pathetic watered-down one like in the third anniversary episode. I'll tell you, I still want to kick that guy's butt for uh, requesting that. But this one features a, com a legendary comics villain and a cartoon character that has appeared in, I think, somewhere between four to five episodes of the Flintstones. Representing Marvel, we have Magneto. And representing Hanna-Barbera, we have the Great Gazoo. These two are gonna duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown, Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's Magneto versus the Great Gazoo. Magneto possesses magnetism manipulation and generation of magnetic force fields, flight through magnetic fields, and a helmet that shields against telepathic attacks. The Great Kazoo can materialize and dematerialize objects, teleport, freeze time, travel through time, and perform other remarkable feats. Who will win? This fight would feature not enough action and way too much talking. Magneto would ask, What makes you think you start a chance against me? Gazoo would reply by saying, I may be small, but there's more to me than my size, dum-dum. Magneto would yell, How dare you call me such a revolting name! I am one of the most powerful mutants in the world! I am the master of magnetism, and you will suffer unto me! Gazoo would reply by saying, 
Well, stop singing it and bringing it, Dum Dum. Magneto would use magnetism on Gazoo, but the latter is unfazed and unmovable. Then, he would throw metal objects at Gazoo via magnetism, but the latter would dematerialize every chunk of metal. Magneto would ask, Why aren't my powers having any effect on you? Gazoo would reply, Easy answer, Dum Dum. I have no iron in my body, therefore your magnetism is useless. Second, I'm an alien who can do just about anything. He then snaps his fingers and strips Magneto of his powers. Magneto would say, What have you done? Give me back my powers, you green piece of manure! Gazoo would then snap his fingers again and turn Magneto into a Fred Flintstone-like Neanderthal. Gazoo would then conclude by saying, There, you look like another dum-dum I know. The Great Gazoo wins. And that concludes this fight on the Comic oh, Hero Throwdown oh, Showdown. Show. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that fight. And if you have a fight request for future episodes, contact info is down there. However, the next three episodes of the show, there will be fight requests that are already reserved. I have one of my own for next week's episode. There's one for episode 151 that's been requested by someone else. And there's one for episode 152 that has been requested by someone else. All right, let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. All right, first up are three issues of the same book. And that book is Wonder Woman. And I have Wonder Woman number 13. Wonder Woman number 14. And Wonder Woman number 15. Now there are two story arcs that are about to conclude. And those story arcs are called The Truth, I mean The Lies, and Year One. Now, uh, sorry, I said The Truth. That's actually the next story arc coming up in, in one of the books. They're, now, they're both written by uh, Greg Rucka, but uh, the artwork in the odd number of books is done by Liam Sharp, and in the even number of books by Nicole Scott. And The Lies uh, talks about you know, stuff going on, you know, Wonder Woman trying to find out about her past, and Year One talks about how she ended up getting, uh, leaving uh, Themyscira for the U.S. All right, next up are two issues of the same book, and that book is Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 12, and Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 13. Now, number 12 is the conclusion to the story arc entitled Bottle Light, and number 13 is actually part one of the, the um, new story arc called Heroes. Now, we find out who's really, truly behind the, um, the Green Lantern Corps being, uh, being collected by Brainiac. It wasn't really Brainiac, although the way he goes about it, because you know, Brainiac has always had a reputation of capturing uh, planets in the cities that are on planets, um, we found out that it was actually Larflees, aka the only Orange Lantern, who has the shortest oath out of any lantern in the universe. And it's only one word, and that word is MINE! All right, next up is Green Lanterns number 15. Now this is um, called A Day in a Life. Now here's what happened in the, uh, the Phantom Lantern uh, story arc. They take down the Phantom Lantern, aka Frank Leminski, by uh, after he takes off his ring because there's just way too much power. Well, uh, Jessica Cruz ends up putting it on, and instead of letting it change her, instead of it changing her, all of a sudden she gained the willpower to use her ring. I mean, there is no doubt in her mind about being a Green Lantern. And then meanwhile, um, Rami and uh, and Volthum, the first lantern, square off and they do a, a body switch. So now Rami is in Volthum's body and encased in a spear and Volthum is inside of Rami's body. And, and not only that, he's also agreed to train 
both Jessica and Simon on becoming better Green Lanterns. And they have no idea that Rami is really Voltoon. Yikes. All right, next up are two issues of the same book, and that book is The Flash. I have The Flash number 14 and The Flash number 15. Now, these, these two are parts one and two of a new story I'll call Rogues Reloaded, where the Rogues Gallery returned. Oh, and in earlier issues, both, actually, Green Lantern, uh, not Green Lantern, but The Flash, Kid Flash, and The Shade take down The Shade's wife, or The, uh, or, or the or the shade who was actually or a or a shadow with, or a demon shadow that was actually um that was actually inside his wife inside his wife defeat them and then they free uh they free iris and all's well with the world and then the issue after that is a christmas episode it's a christmas issue where the flash goes up against tar pit and takes care of business and then lastly Action Comics number 972. This is the conclusion to the Men of Steel story arc. Superman, it, it's a, it was revealed that Superman actually, it was a ruse. He really didn't mean for Lex Luthor to, he really didn't mean it when he said that Lex, Lex Luthor must die. He only did that in order to buy time to, um, to take down the, uh, these aliens from the future who wanted to convict Lex Luthor of, of a crime that he may someday commit. Well, they end up trying to get on, get, leave the planet via boom tube, but they end up some, somewhere lost in, somewhere in limbo with no way out. And then meanwhile, back on Earth, Lois actually breaks into, well, Lois Lane the, from the free pre, the pre-Flashpoint universe, yeah. Well, she and John ends up going going to to the New Fifty Two Lois's um, apartment and try to dig up some stuff on, on her, and they order Chinese. But who shows up to deliver the Chinese? You might ask, Clark Kent from the New Fifty Two universe. Uh oh. You know John's gonna be asking some questions now. All right, that's not a bot, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 7,718. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And here's a question for a free tea for next week's episode. What, or rather, who is Tony Stark's personal assistant slash love interest? Everyone who answers correctly will be doing a drawing for a free tea in next week's episode. And congratulations to Kelly Mayo from Bossier City, Louisiana, who won a free tea in this week's episode. All right. Um, episode 149 is about to be in the books. Next week is episode 150. And not only is it episode 150, but this is also going... Next week is also going to be the 50th episode that I've done... That I've done here since Claire took over. And... I know it's going to be epic... I have a few things planned. Claire has a few things planned. And so just stay tuned to that. And yeah. All right, birthday time. All right, today, all right, well rather happy birthday yesterday to my good friend Mariah Adams. Uh, happy birthday today. Oh, by the way, today, as I'm doing it today, it's Wednesday. Happy birthday today to um, my friends Ashley Williams, James Muse, and Katrina Crow. And a very special happy birthday to my cousin, Sheila Hogg. And a uh, happy birthday tomorrow to the First Lady of St. John Baptist Church of Homer, Louisiana, Sharon Warren. And a very special happy birthday to my good friend um, from West Monroe, Molly Cummings. And then a very special happy 18th birthday to my little cousin, Kamisha Washington from Hampton, Georgia. Oh, and... Louisiana Comic Con. Here, I just found out some stuff about Louisiana Comic Con. If you're thinking about not going, although you shouldn't be, this may change your mind. Sean Chamel, who plays the voice of Goku on Dragon Ball anything, whether it be the very end of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT, will be a guest. So that's going to be awesome. You have, you have him, and then you have Christopher Sabat, who plays the voice of both Vegeta and Piccolo being there. I'm going to tell you, these folks are really going out 
and you'd had you you'd had to be nuts not to attend. I mean, it's not just them; it's several other folks. I mean, um, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, is going to be there. Johnny Young Bosch, uh, Seth Gilliam. I mean, they're all. I mean, the list goes on and on. Oh, and also James O'Barr, who created The Crow, is also going to be there. So buy your tickets, folks. Because the last thing you want to do is, is get over to the Hearst Memorial Coliseum on the day that it gets there and not buy tickets because then you're going to be standing in a long line for hours. All right, I'm Victor Nulli. I'm the comic here. I'll see you next week for episode 150 right back here at Clint's Comics. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero, and congratulations, Pudge.